That's why I say education. Now, relating it to, so there is an objective. The objective is you want to win. The, the, the strategy is, the strategy is you've got to put together your strategy. This is my top 11, uh, the goalkeeper, four defenders, two midfielders, four attackers. Okay, fine. That's fine. That's, that's basic knowledge. And then I personally devised a, a, a coinage which I call KTA. KTA means knowledge, tactics, action. Then you have to know everything. You have to have knowledge of ev yourself, people around you, what it does to them, and your and even your opposition, your adversary, if you're in a different world. That's one. Then it allows you to form your strategy, your tactic. So your knowledge becomes your tactic. You now form a tactic based on the knowledge that you have gathered. And then you can now act. Now, that process you don't have in the politics of Africa, which is why the Tinapa Studio fell apart and many others like that, because we don't educate ourselves. Now, what we now need to do, how to get beyond that and break that barrier is come back to educate ourselves as the end users, so that when we educate ourselves as to what is happening and why it has happened like that, we go back into the faces of the established authorities and ask questions and ask questions all the time and make them feel the pinch and put them under pressure that, look, guys, we're watching you. We know you're not doing right. Why is it like this? And that is why education is important. When I talk about edu education, I'm talking about the three E's, education, enlightenment, empowerment. Let us use our education to enlighten the world. Let us use that enlightenment to empower ourselves to go. We're not going with placards. We're not going with, uh, we're not going to Lekki Toll Gate or whatever to go and do, you know, the, the normal protests. We're not striking, but we are going into studios, into surgeries, and we're asking questions that will put these guys on edge to show that, oh my God, we can't just run up shoddy over these guys. They do know what they're talking about. This is the end user. This is the, these are the consumers of our government. And we need to answer them and we need to provide accounts to them as to our stewardship. And if we do that, it's going to change. <laughs> of course, I'm going to ask you a question that related to your coaching program. That is very important for us. But before we get there, I just want to um, uh, reinforce uh, uh, what you already uh, what we already agreed on here that uh, we are talking about the game here because if we play it well, it is in our favor, in the favor of the society of our countries in Africa, for example. The reason the country Nigeria is not functioning is because we are not playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. That is why somebody can load the house with money because you are not using it. Why not invest it? Because you cannot invest it because you didn't get it in the right way. You, you, you know that it is not right, but you keep doing it. It means you look like a stupid person. You look like a child because a child doesn't know the rules. So you just play zizardly. The game of football is not played zizardly. You have a clear objective. It's like you are going to the military. You are going to a war. You can't go to the war and expect to win if you are just there shooting at the air. So you must aim at your enemy and shoot, not just shoot it at random. What is your uh, coaching program doing to sort of uh, uh, make sure that this line are reinforced in the people so they can play to win at the end of the day? The important thing, the important thing is, yes, they've got to play to win, but they've got to play fairly. They've got to play fairly. Because if you do things properly, it's seamless. It becomes easy. It's smooth, and there is no problem. And you know, you talk about um, you talk about the ills of governance, where people stash money and all that. Why are they stashing money? They stash money because they have access to it. 
and they had that kind of access to it. You ask about why they're not investing. They don't see the need to invest because you see, to, the, to those people, it, they're very dim sighted. They don't know, they feel that they can go back and get more if they need more. It's there for them to take because nobody is asking them questions. Now, you can see that in football, it doesn't work like that. It's easy with my coaching program, it's easy because you tell the coaches to tell players to go and start playing. If you score two goals and then you relax, which is the lack of investment that you're talking about. Because everything that I do, I relate with football. So in the lack of investment that you talk about, you're talking about the fact that you score two goals and then you sit back and you relax because you don't need to do anything. At the end of the day, you'll be surprised. You'll be caught behind. You'll be caught behind. They'll score one. They'll score two. They'll score a third. And you lose the game. But obviously, if you go by the principle of the game and you play the game, and you move forward and you become ruthless and your attack towards winning. You go for the first goal, you score. You go for the second goal, yeah, why not? And you don't rest on your laurels and you forget every time. When you go in at halftime at 3-0 up, you tell yourself that we're three goals to the good, but we're going into the second half like if it's 0-0. So we go again. And then you go again, you go again, you go again. Now, when you do all of that, what you're doing basically is you're imbibing in your culture, in your mindset. I'm a mindset person. I build mindsets. And you imbibe in yourself the mindset that I'm not going to rest until it's over. And it's not over until it really, really is over. You look at the referee blows the whistle that it's full time and you've won four nil. And you look at the referee again to make sure that he's actually blown the whistle to end the game. That is it. So you keep going, you keep going. Our politicians will not because it came easy. They get the money, they amass it, they put it somewhere and they feel in their minds that ah, there's more to be had. Why should I invest? Why should I bring people into my business? If I put people into my business, that's how they're gonna know what I've got. So let me just be spending the, the one I've got. When it's running low again, I can call Minister A or Chief of Staff B and he will bring another lot. 